Hello and welcome uh, to the next video in this series. Uh, this video is going to uh, be a relatively quick one and this one's just going to cover uh, how to do a modal analysis uh, within Inspire. So we want to know what a, a part is going to vibrate uh, like and uh, our modal analysis can tell us that. So we're going to assume that you've uh, you've gone through the structural analysis video and you know how to assign materials and assign constraints to a part. Uh, and now I want to come here and uh, run a modal analysis. Now, when I did the uh, the structural analysis, I could have run the modal at the same time. There is absolutely no requirement that they be run separately. In fact, that would save a step, uh, make the analysis run just a touch longer, but uh, would save the step of running a different analysis. But if I just want to run a modal analysis, or if I want to include it, I just come up here to analyze. I click my little play button under analyze, and I come and opened up this normal modes feature right here. Uh, the default is none, so by default, it's not going to do a normal mode analysis. Uh, all I have to do is select this, and now I get uh, I get uh, to choose the number of modes that I want. Uh, the default is 10, and then I have to specify whether I want it to be supported and which load case supports I want to use or unsupported. Uh, so we'll come here and we'll say no supports right now. And then just to, uh, to make sure that this is uh, organized properly, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say beam free free. So free free being the uh, FE term for an unsupported modal analysis. I'm going to get 10 modes uh, and I come here and I click uh, run and it will begin the analysis of that. Uh, now I didn't mention it in the structural, but uh, what it's doing is it's uh, taking and it's doing creating a mesh in, uh, in our, our software called SimLab and then taking that mesh and it's in the background uh, using uh, HyperMesh to do the meshing and the analysis setup. And then it's utilizing our uh, very accurate uh, uh, Optistruct to actually do the modal or structural analysis or optimization. Uh, and so all of that happens in the background. You don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about having that software installed. Uh, Inspire is a free stand or a, a freely standalone product. Uh, so you don't have to have the, have the other softwares installed. It, it's got the libraries and everything that it needs in the background. Uh, and uh, But it is utilizing our industry-proven uh, decades uh, of, of development uh, software so you can rely on and trust the results that you get out of Inspire. So as quick as that, I've got my, my analysis uh, complete. I come here, click the little green flag, shows me beam free free. Uh, and it's going to show me my normal modes and it's going to automatically go into uh, displacement. And if I animate, I can see the, uh, the displacement there. So uh, using displacement, we can actually see the nodes that it's, uh, it's vibrating about. Uh, and I can select which, uh, which frequency I want to visualize. Uh, and next to it, I'll get the actual uh, modal frequency. So I select that, we get a little bit more advanced uh, advanced frequency and now we get some modes there and I can take it all the way up to, to frequency 10 where I get uh, now four nodes on here and it's, it's vibrating uh, pretty interestingly. Now uh, you'll notice that these are all true modes. If you know, uh, if you're familiar with modal analysis in a free free situation in unconstrained modal analysis, uh, the first, first six uh, modal frequencies are uh, the rigid body ones. Uh, they're very, very, very low frequency. Uh, near zero, and they they just represent mathematical anomalies from the uh, from the analysis. Uh, Inspire is intelligent enough to ignore those. So uh, if you ask for ten, you are getting ten true uh, frequencies. I can also change this to show not the displacement, but the strain energy, so we can see what the strain energy is on on this part as well as it's going through its uh, its vibrations. Uh, so that's that. Now let me uh, exit out of here and I'll come back to my analyze. Uh, and this time instead I will select a supported. So load case one, in this case uh, load case one, if I turn this on, you'll see I just put a constraint at, at the end. So it's free on this end, it's constrained on that end. Now I'll run the analysis uh, with load case one as my constraints. Uh, I'll click run. This uh, should only take uh, a minute or so, but I will pause the video to uh, avoid having to waste time watching it slide across. So it has finished. I'll uh, just come up here, click the little green flag. 
uh, we'll switch this back to displacement and come back to our uh, our first mode. And you can see now it's kind of shifted that node down here because this is constrained, so we just get this uh, wiggling on the end. Uh, it also has significantly dropped the frequency. Uh, and now I can see frequency two. So we, we're, we're seeing similar uh, mode shapes, but of course now it's going to be influenced by the fact that I'm holding on to that end. Uh, and in fact, all the way, come all the way down here. So we can see we're still getting that uh, the four nodes, uh, just everything shifted down to the end. And then of course I can come and do my energy strain density as well, or my strain energy density. So that's how we do a modal analysis within Inspire. Uh, you can see very easy. And I've got all of my, I forgot to rename it. If they both say free, free, I had intended to rename that to constrain, but that's okay. Uh, all my results are there and uh, I can see, uh, see my modal frequencies there. So stay tuned for more videos. And uh, again, I appreciate you watching. Take care.